Unit 7, fish. Remember, fish are vertebrates, and all vertebrates have a couple features that are in common. The first is this dorsal nerve cord. Um, underneath the dorsal nerve cord is the notochord, and in most vertebrates, the notochord is replaced by the vertebral column that eventually surrects and protects the dorsal nerve cord. We also have the post-anal tail. Um, again, here's the anus, and that tail occurs after the anus, and this is different from a lot of the other ones that we've seen because a lot of the other animals with tails that we've seen, we've seen digestive organs running through the back and the anus being at the end of the tail. That doesn't occur in chordates. And then there's also these, our pharyngeal pouches. And remember, our pharyngeal pouches, uh, depending on what the organism is, will turn into different things. For some of our higher chordates, like humans and apes, it's going to be our thyroid glands. Other animals, like fish, these pharyngeal pouches can turn into gills. Other features that are characteristic of vertebrates, uh, we have internal organs, and we have a little bit more complicated internal organs. We're going to start to see kidneys and livers here. We're going to see a heart with a closed circulatory system in all of our vertebrates. Remember, we also have an endoskeleton. Uh, this endoskeleton can be either cartilage or bone. Um, Cartilage is a tough, flexible material making up the skeleton or part of the skeletons. The vertebral column, like you can see here in the fish, the vertebral column functions as a strong, flexible rod that muscles can pull against during running. Advantage of having these separate individual vertebrae uh, gives us the enhanced ability to move around quickly and easily. One of the things that is of most interest about chordates is the neural crest. Um, as the nerve cord forms during embryonic development in vertebrates, a neural crest forms. This neural crest is where it's responsible for creating migratory, uh, a multipotent migratory cell population. And what that means is that these cells can eventually give rise to a diverse number of other cells. So it's in this formation, it's in this formation of the neural crest, the folding together, the folding together, folding down, and eventual creation of these neural crest cells. Uh, essentially, they're kind of where the, they're where the stem cells come from. Those cells can move throughout the body. Um, move throughout the body and take and play a role um, in basically whatever we need. Um, they could be brain and skull, they can be sense organs, they could be part of the pharyngeal pouches, nerve fibers, um, basically whatever we need them to be. Uh, the most, one of the most interesting things about chordates is the neural crest. Uh, if we want to talk about fishes and